Did you know that most problems with CPUs and memories come from dirty memory sockets or CPU sockets? Well, in this video I will show you how to clean them. And maybe you're familiar with a block diagram of a server or a modern PC. As you can see, the DIMMs on the right side are directly connected to the CPUs. So if you have a memory error, it could also be some dirt in the CPU socket, because there are two connectors that connect together, the CPU and the memory. And if there are problems, both of them could be the cause. And here is how I do it. I take alcohol, which comes handy in this uh, Tabasco bottle. And I soak the entire slot that is problematic with alcohol. And I take a soft brush. You can see this is a normal painting brush with a little bit shortened brush hairs. And I give it a good cleaning uh, over the entire socket. And then I take some compressed air spray to blow out all the alcohol and the dirt that comes with it. Of course you have to clean the neighbor sockets too. And then you let it evaporate and everything is fine. Uh, the same goes for the CPU socket. So here I prepared a CPU. You can see it has some dirt on the bottom, some fingerprints, someone took it in his dirty fingers, in greasy fingers. That happens very quickly and it's very easy to, uh, to remove, to clean. So you can use these uh, alcohol pads here. They are great, they are a little bit expensive. You can also use uh, some household paper and alcohol from a bottle as I will show you later. And it's always a good idea to check the paper after cleaning to see how much dirt you actually removed. Here in this case there is not much, only fingerprints. And then you can dry your CPU with the air spray or just let it dry off by itself. Okay, looks pretty clean now. And if you put the dirty CPU in a socket, the dirt uh, also sticks to the contacts. So here is my method to clean the CPU socket. It may look a little bit awful with all this alcohol, but uh, believe me, it works even with modern servers. And another trick to improve the contacts is to move the CPU slightly inside the socket. This will scrape away some maybe dirt that still is 
on the socket on the contacts or on the CPU. That's also a trick that works from time to time. Another problem that happens quite often is that thermal paste gets into your socket under the CPU. There are a lot of reasons how this can happen. In this case I made it on purpose but it looks exactly like that. And then you have thermal paste on your CPU and inside your socket. This time I'm using household paper and alcohol to clean the CPU, as I said before. Uh, the best way is to uh, first remove uh, the biggest chunks of thermal paste with the dry uh, paper. And then use some alcohol to remove all the rest. And then when you hold the CPU against the light, you see in the reflections if there is still something sticking on it. And you also see on the paper how much dirt you removed. So it's a good idea from time to time to move to a clean uh, spot of paper. And maybe repeat it again until the paper comes off clean. That means no more dirt on your CPU. Yeah, there still is a little bit. But I used uh, a spot that already was dirty. That's not a good idea. So always check. Or maybe you just take a fresh piece. That's probably safer. For the CPU socket, the first try is to remove uh, the dirt with compressed air. Sometimes it's only some, some dust, some dried uh, thermal paste or something that can easily blown away. If the thermal paste was fresh, it sticks a little bit better. So we go to the alcohol and brush method. And if you wonder what this triangle means, that's the corner where pin 1 is. And the socket has one corner cut off. And it also looks a little bit like a triangle. So that's where pin 1 is in the socket. And if you match the two corners, your CPU is in the right orientation. And here is everything you need, some alcohol, a brush, some compressed gas, and some paper towels, either those with alcohol in it or just household paper towels, that works fine.